Alright folks, if you're a developer or an early adopter, iOS 18.3 Beta 1 has just landed, and it's definitely a significant update. If you're already on iOS 18, this update is ready for you, and you can expect the public beta to roll out soon. You might be wondering about the size. This one's a bit heavy, coming in at around 7.38 gigabytes across various devices. But this is because the OS installation happens again when switching between beta and public versions. Of course, since it's a beta, there are occasional performance dips, mostly due to background updates happening as the system stabilizes. That's expected, and once those updates are done, things should smooth out. You'll find the toggle for opting out of sending analytics data to Apple in a slightly different location now. You can access it by going to Settings, then Privacy and Security, and finally Analytics and Improvements. If you're a Siri user, you'll notice a small change here too. The icon for Type to Siri has been updated. Instead of the old keyboard icon, it now sports a more straightforward Siri icon. It makes the whole experience feel just that little bit cleaner and smoother. The attention to detail here is what sets iOS apart. There's an update to the camera control button too, now it comes with a dark mode icon, making it easier to switch when you're in low light or dark mode. Again, it's something that makes navigation a little more intuitive for those who depend on accessibility functions. Of course, there are some missing features in this beta. For instance, the iPhone 15 wallpapers are nowhere to be found. Also the feature to display battery charging status while the device is locked still isn't functional in this build. Other than that, battery life feels pretty stable, but there isn't a significant improvement compared to iOS 18.2. Apple addressed some issues with personalized Genmoji and third-party writing tools. Still not everything's perfect yet. Some small issues persist, like glitches with the dark mode icon and some color saturation problems. This shows that there's still work to be done to fully polish things. Performance-wise, iOS 18.3 Beta 1 shows some minor drops in CPU and GPU scores at first. Early benchmarks reveal a slight decline, but those scores usually improve as the system stabilizes. Looking ahead iOS 18.3 Beta 2 will probably land in early to mid-January. If everything goes according to plan, we could see the final release of iOS 18.3 by the end of January or early February. And for those of us excited about the Apple Intelligence update, that's likely to roll out with iOS 18.4 around April 2024. It's set to expand support for the EU, so there's a lot to look forward to. In conclusion, iOS 18.3 Beta 1 brings some useful, exciting features, though it's still rough around the edges. If you prefer something more stable, it might be a good idea to wait for a polished version to be released. So, that's all for today stay tuned for more updates, and we'll see you in the next video.